Welcome to the Garcia Aquatics. Today we're going to be going to um, <coughs> Creative Coral Designs. They invited me down here to come check out their warehouse and how they process all the designs on the corals and everything else. So we're going to see the process, how it's done. We're going to take a little tour inside. And another thing, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and the notification bell that will notify you when another video comes out. Let's go see Jose and Tony. that I met at uh, Aquacella, and this is Tony right here that I also met in Aquacella. So they're going to tell us a little bit more about the place and everything. So let's get it going. All right. Well, first of all, Berto, thanks for uh, visiting us. This is obviously our showroom. Uh, what we have is a variety of, this is our synthetic coral replicas. So this is really our base product uh, that we make here, and this is all made from coral skeletons that we mold. The product you see on the wall is actually something we developed during the pandemic because, as we all know, all the sea aquariums, restaurants, everybody was shut down. People were actually draining aquariums. Uh, so we had just opened our company, so we had to switch gears and take our molds that we had made and create a different product for a different clientele. So we actually started developing our uh, ocean-inspired wall hangings, which is what you see here. All right, so basically, these are islands that we made that are interchangeable. So basically, if you're balling on a budget and say you can only afford one island, you can say, hey, I want one island. Later on, you get the bridge, and your tax refund comes in and says, you know what, I want to get the third bridge, and you can put it all together at one time. It still looks good separately, but together, obviously, it fills the tank more, and there's so many different combinations. So you could say, I just want two. I just want one. I can change them in and out. comes in, obviously, tons of different coral options, different color you know, basis for the rock. Um, it's probably one of our better sellers because people with small tanks can still use them. People with big tanks can still use them. We could stack them together. We can go from here all the way to the end of the street with different combinations of, of our islands. So it's completely interchangeable, completely custom, whatever you like. And the best part is you can get them in and out of the tank easily. Most sculptures that competitors make, it's all one sculpture. Ours can be taken apart, brought out, really get a deep clean because as you know, you can clean sometimes. Sometimes you can't get to that one spot. If you're not going to take it out of the tank, you're not going to be able to clean it. So no matter how pretty of a tank we can make or, you know, insert we can make for you, if you can't clean it, it doesn't do you any good. Yeah, so especially when you have a lot of <coughs> algae built up and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So that's where that concept really came up and Jose came with the idea of, listen, let's make it so it's modular and we can take it in and out and make it, you know, easy to clean. And that's, and, that's where and we And also you guys do design also... Like for fresh water? Not, yes. Not yes. only only for yeah. salt water? Yeah. We, uh, we recently got into fresh water probably with the past year. That has probably exploded a little bit bigger than we thought. So we've had to come up with stuff pretty fast. And we'll show you. We've got a couple of projects in the back. We can kind of show you some of the uh, fresh water projects that we're working on right now. And we're getting a lot, a lot of feedback on, on the fresh water. And guys, I'm going to leave the link in the bottom. Check them out. <laughs> and I bet you they also ship. Right? Yes, we ship all over the world. International See? and domestic. So, Berto, like you said, this is all our freshwater stuff. So we know that freshwater is very popular, has been, but nowadays with all the different kinds of species of fish, all the colorful fish that we're seeing, freshwater is really taking off, and we're seeing a lot more clients requesting freshwater. We're seeing a lot more of our uh, partners in the industry selling freshwater systems, freshwater tanks, and, of course, freshwater fish. So this is a product we developed a while back, and luckily, as we said, the freshwater product started moving. Uh, but what we did was we came up with a way to create a durable freshwater backdrop that you can easily put into your tank and right away you've already decorated your tank. These are all made out of the same materials we use for all our high-end residential commercial products. Uh, same epoxy coating, same epoxy material. These are um, hand-painted by us. Each one is slightly different. They all have their little character. And then we can also modify them. So, for example, on a piece like this, if you wanted this to be a deeper cave, we can very easily modify it to make it a cave. We also use these in combination with our freestanding rocks, which are, again, all handmade by us, super durable. And you can uh, count on the product being exactly the same every single time. This rock, well-maintained, could last you 15, 20 years. You could give it to your kids, hand it down to your grandkids. Then you can combine the backdrop with the freestanding rocks to create... Uh, your aquarium display and it fits a variety of tank sizes. 
Well, so, what we also can do is use this product, and again, because it's so customizable, Berto, we can use this, so say you had a drain or a return that's been sitting there and you just wanted to hide it, you let us know what the dimensions are, you tell us what the pipe size is, how much water flow we're gonna need, we can easily modify this rock to become a cover, hide that drain that you've been staring at for years, and now it's just a nice rock. When it comes down to service it or do anything, again, you just take out the rock, put it back, and you're good to go. Tell me more about this. So, like you said, Virgo, this is a custom freshwater tank. So our client contacted us. He has another company manufacturing the tank itself. So they sent us all the details about all the plumbing. So you have, obviously, your overflow covers here and here. There's going to be a uh, drain under one of these rocks. There's also another drain access here, which is just a removable uh, interlocking panel that we custom created. It goes back in, and this is so they can access the plumbing. There's going to be actually a drain pipe right in front of one of the overflows. In order to get this piece into the tank, because the tank's already built, so I have to get everything in through the lid openings. So what we did was we just made the whole thing modular. So this comes out. This piece will come off. The rocks are all separate. So we put those pieces in, I'll put these pieces in, I put this in, and then it all locks in, and then that's it. So now you can also take it out in case you have to clean it. So if you wanted to get this out periodically, depending on your bio load or your maintenance uh, schedule, you would not possibly want to get this out in a very narrow tank. This is the footprint of the tank, pretty much what the table is sitting on. And then the whole thing is built in sections. So you have, yeah, just carefully to show you, one, two, three sections that way, and they all fit through the lid openings. So once I install it, we'll silicone it all in place, and then they can uh, attach all the plumbing. And so it'll be silicone if they want it permanent? Yeah. And if they don't want it permanent, they can be Yeah. Well, we'll silicone it because at this point, it'd be tough. You probably won't want to pull these out. But if you got these out of your way, then somebody could easily jump in and give this a scrub. But because it has this very high-end uh, two-part epoxy coating, the cleaning on this should be fairly simple, just to get the algae off the surface. So I would think that maybe once in a while you might want to jump in there, but I think a lot of the cleaning can be done from the top. These plastic plants are attached, and then there's more plastic plants, uh, plastic plants that go with this, but we made them all removable. Because if you attach them to here and they break, Nobody likes that. So what I did was I made them removable so that they can take them out and clean them. If for any reason they lose one or break one or whatever, they give us a call, we make them a replacement plant, we ship it to them, and they're back in business. So we try to think about all the little details that we learned over the years and try to avoid all the problems that come later on if you're not thinking about it. Well, well guys, there you have it. It's looking all awesome. And thank you for watching my channel. And don't forget, like I said before, and I'll say it again, I'll leave the description down below. Any comments will be appreciated. And also, don't forget to hit the like button, the share button, the notification bell, and subscribe to the Garcia Aquatics. And Garcia Aquatics, out.